Hey there YouTube, it's Math Bowler with a trip to Trader Jack's Flea Market in Bridgeville, Pennsylvania. A friend and I went down there, um, and then we went to the Yinzer Yard Sale, but you've already seen that video from a little while ago. But, yeah, who knows when this video is actually going to get shown, but I purchased 18 autographed 8x10 photos and one unsigned 8x10 photo. But the 18 autographs cost me exactly $100. I bought 17 $5 photos from a vendors who owned a store. Um, they had a legitimate store and they brought athletes in you know authenticity is not a concern so yeah 17 five dollar autograph photos and a 25 dollar autograph photo which would have been 110 but we just did 100 bucks so i'm actually really excited to show you this i have 10 pittsburgh pirates and eight pittsburgh steelers my unsigned photo is a pittsburgh steeler as well so great items for my personal collection here we're going to start off with gene alley who was a member of the 1971 world series teams and a couple all-stars, a couple gold gloves as well. So, you know, that's pretty sweet. Then we got Elroy Face, the Baron, 1960 World Series champ. And by the way, these are all $5 photos. The last one was the 25, which I'll just call it 15, though. But yeah, he was like six all-stars, and he went 18-1 way back when. But you can see by the Certificate of Authenticity here, um, Pittsburgh Sports Store. So, yeah. Anyway, then we got two from Bob Friend. I actually think I have that pose. But for $5 from a guy who was really good and really friendly in his later years when I got to meet him, yeah, I went ahead and bought the two of them. He was 1960 World Series champ, won the All-Star All four times. Uh, he led the league, Major League in league, wins one year. He was the ERA leader for the National League for a year. So, yeah, really good pitcher way back in the 50s. Yeah. Then we got Dave Justy. So this photo was really cool because he was a pitcher. And there he is batting, you know, obviously post-playing years. You can just tell by looking at him. But there he is hitting a ball. I saw another pose with him where he was, you know, holding a bat. And I thought that was cool. But my buddy said there's another one in here where he's hitting a ball. So he uh, very awarely alerted me. But he was a 1971 World Series champ. Led the league in, National League in saves for a year. He was an all-star member for one year, so a good player. Then we got Adam LaRoche, who only spent three seasons with the Pirates. There's the Go Bucks inscription. But that's still pretty cool. There's Jason Bay. I think that's Jason Bay right there. So maybe a cool thing to get dual signed, but that's not an official photo by any means, so I don't think I'll ever do that. But, you know, he did win a gold glove or a silver slugger or something like that. Not with the Pirates, but later in his career. We got Ed Ott, who was a member of the 1979 World Series team. We got two Manny Sanguians. He was a member of the 1971 and 79 World Series team. Also three All-Stars. I think they were consecutive, but don't, I, don't hold me to that. Yeah, that's what his nice signature looks like. <laughs> it's a cool black and white photo. First one... Uh, that's okay. That, that That's part of the uh, plastic, not the photo. I don't know if you can tell some of these imperfections from these page holders, these sheet protectors, but that's Frank Tavares. Uh, he played for the 1971 and 79 World Series winning Pirates, but did not get a ring from either year. Uh, he was traded away real early in the 79 season. I can't remember what happened with the 71. I think it's just a matter of him not playing much, but uh, he did lead the league in stolen bases for a year. But in any case, there, I finally got a Frank Tavares in my collection. Now on to this eight Steeler autographs. First one is Steve Carson, who was a guard for the Steelers teams, uh, two of the Super Bowl teams, 13 and 14. But in 2005, he died in a like a, a tragic tree accident, of all things. I mean, that stinks. I mean, to get him for five bucks, you know, with the COA, and that's, that's actually a decent COA, but no one here is going to be... I'm not at all worried about this company trying to pull a fast one here. Good local company. Been around for a while. Anyway, uh, we got Chris Hoke. He was a member of both the Super Bowl 40 and Super Bowl 43 teams. Ernie Mills. Honestly, he really wasn't that big of a deal. I mean, he was in the Super Bowl team that lost to Dallas. Thanks, Neil O'Donnell. Um, anyway, so, but it was TSE authenticated, so, I mean, $5 for this photo an official photo file photo so I got Ernie Mills in my collection now 
Then we got Jeff Reed, who was a member of the Super Bowl 40 and Super Bowl 43 team. Daniel Sepulveda. He was a fourth round pick in the Steelers draft, which is super high for a punter. I mean, his a very impressive college <laughs> resume and everything, but uh, had a lot of injuries. He might have been on the Super Bowl 43 team. Don't hold me to that. Mike Tomzak, no real reputable, no big accomplishments with the Steelers. I mean, he did win a Super Bowl with the Bears, I believe. But uh, he had a very long career as a quarterback, mostly like a backup quarterback, obviously. But very long career for Mike Tomzak. I really, I really like the all the best inscription. Deshae Townsend was a member of the Super Bowl 40 and 43 team. And I think last summer I had bought this photo, too. So they had multiples, you know, and I'm pretty sure I already had one of those. So this one or the other one, whichever one looks nicer, I'll keep. Whichever one's a, maybe the autograph doesn't look as beautiful, I'll end up donating. And here's the last of the autograph photos here. Donnie Shell, TSE authenticated, really cool looking image there. It was $25, but realistic, I paid $15 for it. So, you know, it's uh, that's pretty cool there. He just became a member of the Hall of Fame in 2020. He had so many interceptions as a safety for the Pittsburgh Steelers. He was a four-time, all four Super Bowls, uh, 9, 10, 13, 14, uh, multiple Pro Bowls. And then uh, to finish it off, I have an unsigned photo that I paid $3 for at another vendor. Actually, it was 2 bucks. long story short. But anyway, um, yeah, so I'm going to try to send that off TTM to Mr. Ben Roethlisberger. So uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video, all my pickups from Trader Jack's Flea Market. So, yeah, I always appreciate if you give my video a like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Take care, everybody.